In this session, we are going to learn about need of Python for cloud engineers, DevOps engineer, platform engineer, and SRE, that is site reliability engineer. Nowadays, Python has made its importance in every field. Mastering or learning Python as a cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, platform engineer, and SRE is very essential for advancing your career as it empowers you to streamline and automate various tasks and tools integral to the DevOps and automation workflow. Why we need to learn the Python? As you can see here, in many job portal, Nokri website, there are multiple thousands of the jobs are available in Python. You can see this screenshot here. There are multiple posts like DevOps Python engineer, security engineer, software DevOps security engineer, site reliability engineer, Python developers, and many more. So thousands of the jobs are currently available in the Python. That's why we need to learn the Python. And Python has become essential part in software as well. According to recent survey of Python developers by JetBrains, there are 34% of the Python is used for DevOps, system, administration, and writing an automation script. You can see here this um, percent in the percentage, there are multiple domains are mentioned as like for the data analysis, 51% of the jobs are available. Similarly, the Python is used around 51% in the data analysis field. 43% is used in the web development, again in the machine learning, likewise in the DevOps. So here the percentage are mentioned for the Python, use of Python. So this is the table's content of the today's session. So where the Python is used actually, so Python is used for cloud engineers, Python is used for DevOps engineer, platform engineer and SRE, as I told you in the previous slides. The Python is also used for the version control and CI or CD. Then Python is used for container and orchestration. Again, the Python is used for networking databases automation and where Python is used actually in the real world. So all these points we are going to know in this okay. section. The first point that is Python for the cloud engineers. So you can see here infrastructure as a core. Python with tools like Terraform lets you to automate cloud inf infrastructure provisioning and management on platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP. There is no any more manual configuration is required for it. Again, in the cloud API, Python has made its importance like to interact with cloud provider APIs using Python libraries like Boto3, AWS, or Azure SDK to automate tasks like scaling resources and managing the deployments. So the Python has shown its importance for the cloud engineers as well. Again, Python is used as an infrastructure, as a code. So here we need the tools of the Python like Ansible, which is it uses YAML, but it can be extended with the Python and Terraform. Again, in the cloud APIs, also the Python is used. Cloud providers SDKs, AWS Boto3, Google Cloud's Python client, Azure SDK for Python can be used to manage and automate the various cloud resources. Okay, so in this way, Python has shown its importance in the cloud engineers. Now, Python for the DevOps engineer. This is the second role of the Python. So the DevOps engineer automation to automate all the things, Python access a scripting, repetitive tasks like server provisioning, configuration management, application deployment using various tools like Ansible. CI or CD pipeline. Integrate the Python script into CI, that is continuous integration, and CD, that is continuous delivery pipelines, 
for streamlined and automated testing and deployment process. Python for platform engineers. So the platform engineers building a self-service platforms, develop an internal developer portal or self-service platform with Python framework like Flask or Dijon. This allows developers to easily provision resources and deploy applications themselves. Then in the platform management, to automate the platform health check, resource monitoring and access control using a Python script. So in this way, Python has shown it's important in the platform engineers. Then how the Python is used by SRE, that is site reliability engineers. The first thing that is monitoring and alert. Team. So Python is fantastic for writing the script to monitor system health, analyze the logs, trigger the alerts for potential issues before they snowball. Then in the scalability and the performance, Python has used to write the programs or Python script to automatically scale the cloud resources based on traffic, performance matrices, which ensures the smooth operation under the load. Now, how the Python is used for version control, as I told you in the CI or the CD. So the first is Git automation. It uses libraries like Git Python to automate Git operations. Then in the CI or CD integration, to formalize yourself with the Python clients for Jenkins, GitHub Actions, Circle CI, and or Terra with CI. Then Python for the con containerization or an orchestration. So here for the Docker SDK, the Python helps to automate the doc various Docker's operation. Then in the Kubernetes, also Python has you made it's important. So for automating tasks in the Kubernetes clusters, the Python is used. Now Python for the networking. So in the networking as well, Python has shown it's important in the socket, automate networking tasks. So in the sockets to understand the basic network programming in the Python. And for the auto for automating the network tasks, especially if you work with the tools like Cisco network automation tools or use NetMiko for SSH connection to router and the switches. So here also in the networking field, Python is needed. Now, how the Python is used for the databases? So to learn, to learn to interact with the databases using Python, whether it's SQL database or non-SQL database. So it is used. Python scripts can be automated repetitive databases task as well. Many web framework use the Python and databases together. Now, Python for the automation. So, there are multiple roles in the automation which are available for the Python. That is scripting, Python libraries for the DevOps and sub-processes. In the scripting, to write the script, to automate the regular tasks and learn the command line argument working with the external processes and automation tools. Python libraries for the DevOps. Now, OS or system, the basic Operating system interaction is also done by the Python. Sub so processes to spam new processes and connect to their input output error pipelines and obtain their return codes. The Python is used. There are many requests which are handled by the Python, like HTTP requests, SSH based interconnection is also handled by the Python. Okay. Now, there are multiple modules which are available for the cloud engineers, DevOps engineers, platform engineers, and SRM, as we discussed earlier. So, these are the, some of the modules uh, which I have shown over here. Boto3, Flask, Django, Google Cloud Client, Azure SDK for the Python, Fast API, OS and SYS, Request Fabrics, JSON, PSUtil, Jinja2, and PyAmbi. So these are some of the modules which are available in the Python. Now, real-time tasks for the cloud, 
DevOps platform and SREs. So all these engineers are which real time tasks are used or done by the Python. Some of the tasks are mentioned over here. There are many more tasks are available which can be done by all these engineers in the by using the Python. The first task that is Python AWS Lambda to start and stop AWS resources in business hour. Then writing customer custom scripts or modules to automate infrastructure provisioning and configuration, configuring the task using libraries like Boto3 as we have seen in the previous slide for AWS or Azure SDK for Python. Python with AWS create a S3 bucket, upload and download the file using Boto3. Then GitHub and Jira integration with the Python is possible. Again, find the error logs and HTTP response code using the Python. Then database backup and restoring of by using that particular database using Python can be done. Write the Python script to interact with the Kubernetes API using tokens, certifications, etc. These are some of the real-time tasks which are available. Again, developing automation script, scripts or integrating CI or CD platform, for example, Jenkins, GitLab, CI, CD, to automate, build, test, deployment processes. <clears throat> then writing custom Python monitoring scripts or agent to collect matrices and logs from the various sources. Then integrating with security tools like Gnosis, Qualins, or AWS security hubs to automate security assessment and compliance tasks and many more. So here I have mentioned few of the tasks which currently used by the cloud engineers, DevOps engineers, platform engineers, and the SRE. So there are many more, lots of tasks, real-time tasks are dependent on the Python. That's why it is very important to learn the Python. In the next session, we will learn about the basic things in the Python, like how to install the softwares which are required for the Python and what are the various syntax which are available in the Python which are needed by the current IT industries. And also we will learn about the libraries which are available in the Python which can be used. Okay, now where actually the Python is in the real world. Okay, in the YouTube, a Python application plays a critical role in delivering a YouTube channel as well, Quora. The Python is foundation of the Quora technologies. Snapchat. Python empowers the vast majority Snapchat backend. Then in the Instagram, Facebook, Python has shown its importance in the um, various things like uh, Instagram leverages the Python extensibility for its functionalities. Facebook. Python supports various backend applications of the Facebook as well. Then in the Linux server, the ubiquitous presence of the Python scripts is evident in the Linux startup and management tools, which are backbone of the worldwide web. Again, in the machine learning research and so forth, Python has become a more popular in the worldwide. Okay, so this is all about where the Python is used in the real world. As I told you in the next session, we will learn about the basic things, syntaxes of the Python, and we will start learning of the Python, its installation, and some of the libraries I will show. Thank you.